the archaic period. Do you know archaic period? The villages that emerged in the pre-dynastic gradually unite to form the great kingdom of Egypt. The young civilization founds a capital, secures its borders, masters the waters, and builds its first monumental tombs. Uh, Necken. 3000 BC. In conditions, we need to get a population of 1,000, and we need 10 modest apartments. Okay. As the people who live along the Nile still struggle to survive in this harsh environment, a local king named Narmer has risen to power. Though Narmer has dominion over much of this land, full unification of the Twin Kingdoms has yet to be achieved. In commemoration of his accession, Narmer wishes your family to establish and govern a new city at Nekhen. This city will have temples to many of the gods of Egypt and numerous places of entertainment. Huzzah! Multiple gods. Patron god of this region is Ra. But Osiris and Bast are also worshipped here as local deities. Make sure this city has more temples and shrines dedicated to Ra, but don't neglect the other local deities too. To accommodate your most valued citizens, make sure they have access to temples dedicated to different gods. So we need to make like a row of temples adjoining to the housing. So it's going to need to think about some planning. Um, pause please. Develop your city. That is that is the plan. Wish the wind conditions would show up. <laughs> Need to remember from the start. Um, right, so we've got the flooding there. Have we got access? We've got grain farms now. And barley. We can't actually build barley farms, but we can do grain farms. Brewery may produce beer. Oh, that was beer for the festivals, not honey. Pottery, so we're gonna be manufactured goods, shrines and temples, entertainment. We've now also got conservatories and bandstands. All that beautification that helps level up a bit easier. Services, village palace, personal mansion, your own home allows you to draw a salary, but must be built on a grassy area. Tax collector, huzzah! Courthouse reduces crime, holds part of your treasury. Ferry landing allows citizens to cross bodies of water. Too large for a bridge. Oh, God, yeah, I remember that. And bridges. Yeah, so we can go over to this side and farm that bit. Amazing. Some rock over there. I was hoping that might might get lucky and there might be some gold, but no. No, no, no. So we want the main part of the city over here. My palace needs to be on a little bit of grass, though. It's like having that as part of like the focal point. So we could have it here and then going down. I like it fairly central across here. There's going to be plenty of room to build out. We've got all that we can use as well. So yeah, if I build... I mean, I might as well build up against this road there because otherwise we'll have this loose space. But unless I put gardens around it. Yeah, go on then. Because I could put a little... Oh, yeah, I can press R and I get a different garden. a little space for like a building on each corner or entertainment and I could put a booth on each bit um, but I'm actually thinking what I'm gonna do because we had problems before police stations <laughs> um do is can I do that ah uh, 
kind of works. That'll just give me an even bit. What I'm thinking is... Could probably... Bit off that, isn't it? This is fine. This is fine. All right. How many houses we got down there? Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That all the way there. Then we will do that there. That across there. And have that there, which helps all a debt. Ooh, nice. Can just about get those there. Lovely. Okay. Um, just get all the basics in. is the main patron so what I'm thinking is we have uh, you'll need ro you all need road access though the way I've done that I guess I can't change that see I could delete one little bit and they'd alternate on the other side but then the house oh no when, when they evolve into a big house actually they will do because they've got it from that side yeah so I can kind of do what I wanted to do I am going to let people come on in, but first I'm going to get some green farms plonked down. I just come down that bank there. Yep. Get all these lined up and then I can get all the other side, he hopes. That's not perfect. It'll do, though. And then, because we know that these can fall down, we want to get... Which I feel like we should have a fire post as well. Let's do it. Let's do it. Yeah, I just need to sort out some temples. Temples to Ra. If we had a big old temple there, that'd be pretty good. Do a big temple and then... If we did a shrine to... Uh, a temple to Osiris. Actually, let's not do it. Let's not do it right next to each other. Let's 
do that. All the way around. So we can have more houses. Hopefully. And then do Osiris. There. And then do Bast. There. that one two three four five six seven eight lovely go people go uh, also yeah workers don't want to pass that and don't want to pass that Gonna need a granary there and there, and then we're gonna need a bazaar. Have a look at the water overlay. Yeah, might need a little bit more of that. Need some food. <clears throat> if I'm right thinking, people take the grain and make bread themselves from it. That's okay. Let's hold a common festival to Ra. Nice. Factoria's looking weird. <laughs> Factoria on Friday this week. do is garden beautification lap in some more houses more entertainment sophisticated egyptians like to listen to music in their leisure time as well as taking the occasional juggling performance while well, only jugglers can perform at the small booth both jugglers and musicians can perform together at a bandstand Build a bad stand at an intersection and a conservatory nearby to train musicians. Access to multiple types of entertainment greatly enhances the quality of life in a city. Lovely. Ah, so have I gone too far with that one? Why is that not even? Oh, that's got two... Yeah. No, I didn't go far enough. My bad. Osiris, you made me... Squiff my road. Rather your reputation somewhat throughout the kingdom. Good.
There we go. Small blessing from Bast. So a small festival so that all the gods will notice your piety. Foundation will be better. Sweet. So grain and anyone got any food? You got some grain. Feel like we need probably some more bazaars. So what I'm hoping to do is pop out another bizarre but like over here so that it should shouldn't affect the desirability too much also gonna do is that oh I placed that one in the wrong place I'm very bad at getting these even there we go. What we're going to do is then pop in a um, blessing from Ra. Supplies your trading partners trade more than before. Lovely. Um, bandstand. Yeah, okay. Whack a bandstand in there and whack a bandstand in there. Oh, look, even the bazaar. I forgot the bazaar gets fancier as well. Of hours you lost playing the OG Pharaoh and they made a new one. So they've they've remade it and kind of remastered it <clears throat> with new graphics and UI and everything else. Enjoy. Say goodbye to uh <laughs> your free time again. Very relaxing to watch. I'm glad you're enjoying it. Yeah, I need to do um tax income, you guys are right. I can't yet. Why can't I? Keep developing my city. Okay, I probably need to do the conservatory, don't I? Drawing street layouts for optimal fire prevention, yeah. <laughs> oh, those are the days. Let's have that. Yeah, I've long since forgotten what my uh, like ideal layouts were. Um, I think we should probably. Why are you guys upgrading? Needs local. Uh, supply of local food. Are these farms not producing as much? I think it's taking a while, isn't it? To produce. Thanks, Ra. Okay, all the grain's coming now, which should hopefully be quite a bumper harvest. Mm. I don't think it was that they weren't close enough to a bazaar. I think it was just no food at the bazaar because, yeah. Oh, you can see all the kids. I love that. You can see all the kids following the um, bazaar traders around. That's great. So handsome even without the beard. Thanks. I try. Um, I'm very much looking forward to the beard growing back though. 
all of them should start evolving. Oh, they've left. I've been kicked out of my home and through no fault of my own. Through no fault of my own. No, we need more water sources. Okay. Yeah, they're all starting to improve now. Fine. We got plenty of grain. Thanks, Ra. Um, right, let's see if we can get more grain fields in now. That's just off there. That's fine. That's a few more fields anyway. Have seen me without beard yet? Yeah. <laughs> Enjoy. This is no beard high extent. I'm guessing that's not. What's the what's the range on a bridge? Oh, also, it's it's not on that line. Huh? It's where is it? Oh, I can't actually build them yet. I haven't unlocked them. That's why. I thought I could just pull across and it would do it. All right, all of these cottages upgrade nicely. You need food from a local bazaar. I mean, you should do. Unemployment is a serious problem in this city. I hope more jobs open up soon. Okay. More jobs, less houses. I don't know why that one's struggling to upgrade. You should be able to get a bazaar. I need like one more just to tip it. It must be just on its limit, I guess. I've got the grain available there. I probably need loads more grain coming in, so we'll have to go across to those. But can't do that until we obviously build up a little bit more. <clears throat> Keep developing your city is my goal right now. Whatever that means. Money is getting low. Yeah, I can't build a tax collector either. Which sucks. I'm glad they help. Um, Doc, appreciate it. So what do you guys now need? Pottery. Okay, let's do some pottery. to start with. Out of money. Yep. 
again. But I haven't been able to upgrade it enough to develop it to whatever you need me to do. <laughs> so I'm sorry. I'll get better. No longer a Viking because I've lost my beard, so I can become Pharaoh. Yeah, why not? Nice, they've all upgraded. Just these now. Don't have access to water. You should do. The water carrier is coming. There we go. <clears throat> so I think we've got all the homes fairly well sorted, bar like one or two right now, which is good. Okay, yeah, I'm going to have to get rid of some of those for barley, I've just realised, unless we are able to unlock the bridge and stuff soon. How have we managed that? Uh, we're going to need a storage yard, aren't we? So it stays up there if you pause the game. 56%. Yeah, we need to um, get some more people working. Let's say I've got four. Yeah, so the, basically, when you hit your, uh, when you when you go into into debt, when you run out of your treasury the first time, your local supporters give you some some extra cash. But once that's gone, then you're in debt. Yeah, the beard's on vacation. Let's let's go with that. There is Zeus Master Olympus remake upgrade. I have no idea. But uh, maybe. Yeah, these kind of like games keep getting remastered and what have you, so that um to enjoy these classics. I mean I'd I'd also enjoy some some new I some new IPs and things like that as well. <clears throat> but it's nice to be able to play these ones again, that, especially ones that just aren't compatible anymore. Oh, I built that granary there and not like one bit close actually by the intersection. That would have been a smarter move. What's the, there's like some weird, no, like ambient noise in this. Is someone going, ooh. Keep hearing like someone going, ooh. -hoo in game <clears throat> oh they're making straw is that the grain oh is that the grain they weren't able to harvest the previous year Well, they make both grain and they produce both. Can I use straw for anything? The main thing is we need the pottery coming in. No workers live nearby. Right. Yeah, that's why. Put it a little bit too far away from him. I don't know if having that direct road will help, but let's just see. Maybe that'll pull people from this little bit up there to work. Possibly won't do though. I'm the most popular person in the city. A lot of people need jobs. I'm the most popular person in the city. A lot of people need jobs. I don't think they're close enough. We're trying to play Land of Vikings. I haven't yet. Oh, we've got, we got potters ready. The potter's all ready to go. No one wants to be a, a clay worker. We're also at, we need more granaries. More granaries needed, my lord. Oh, 
Oh, there we go. Finally, that's got just enough workers in the ding clay. I think it's almost too far away, though, to pull any others in. So I might just... It won't be pretty. I might just throw a load of them in here to act as work. Oh, no, they've got, they've got ones there. They're getting there eventually. We'll, we'll throw those houses in there just, just in case. Can you tweak the in-out locations? Um, they automatically kind of reformat round depending on where you build roads and stuff. Here comes the straw and the grain. Potters are all working. But you don't have any employees. Should do soon though, because we just got those two huts. Uh, let's make sure you guys have got the basics as well. Have a Ra shrine, an Osiris shrine, and a Bass shrine. Why not? Oh no, they're angry. Uh oh. Displeased. Disple oh dear. Hold a festival, quickly. Um, let's not upset Bast. <laughs> Bless me. You get a shrine, you get a shrine, everybody gets a shrine. <laughs> Pots. We've got pots. I do my best to give the people what they want. What they want. Beautiful. We should, we should see some of these start upgrading the moment they get um, pottery. Let's continue. So we've got some pots. Is that what they need? Uh, devolve soon. Oh, no. Uh, let's check our desirability overlay. Oh, right. That's the most desirable. That's not as desirable. On the wrong tab. Okay. I need to put some fancier things in there. Beer and barley farming. Your fellow Egyptians have perfected the art of brewing beer, which has become very popular, a very popular libation throughout Egypt. With a supply of barley received from local farms, brewers will make beer and deliver it to storage yards for future dis distribution by bazaar workers, as with food and pottery. Oh, there we go. Modest homestead. Spacious homestead. Oh, no. Nice. Look at them. Cannot evolve. It needs supply of beer from its local bazaar to get a wealthier class of citizen to move in. Okay. Right. So I've got access to bridges, supposedly. Well, I don't have access to bridges. I also don't have access to a tax collector yet. Requires a working palace. Can't place it yet, I guess, in this tutorial. We haven't unlocked it. Um, so I'm gonna have to get rid of some of these wheat farms to put barley instead, which is fine.
Holy farm. Then we will need a brewer. We put all the industry over here. Is that okay? Did anyone know what the ratio was? Um, for brewers to to farms. I feel like we could probably go for at least three. Might go for four though. Three to four seems standard. Ratios isn't Factorio. No. <laughs> it's similar though. <laughs> um, grow your city is now our our option. Um, let's go for uh, no, that one. Distribution storage yard. Why didn't I, why did I make why didn't I put that further back? It's fine. Got more space now. Who's up for some ale? Right, we've got that one. Needs right, so these need to evolve. We need the desirability improving. So let's put some. I've got to be careful though. I'm so low on money, and I've already used my emergency fund. But it's because it won't let me create a tax um, collector. So we're going to struggle until we can do that. Would you say it's a remake or remaster of the original? So, I mean, I think on the website they call this a remake. I, I'd say it's more of a remaster. Um, but I, I mean, I don't know. Are we just, are we just kind of messing with technicalities here. Uh, I, I, I don't, I don't know really. I think on the, yeah, I think on the official website they call it a re, um, a remake. Um, I mean. It's still very much the same game underneath. There are one or two kind of new mechanics that you can toggle on or off. The UI is obviously all changed, but it's still... I, I would say this is more of a remaster than a remake. Um, but I don't know. There might be like a technical specific, uh, sort of specification as to what denotes which. Um... Don't fix the issue where the houses can't reach jobs of a very various place between them. Um, I honestly don't know. I know it does include a load of bug fixes and tweaks and changes. It also has an option where you don't you have a global recruitment pool rather than having recruiters. Oh, well, those just evolved. But these have now changed. Yeah. Space Homestead. We just need... We need beer and more entertainment, probably. <laughs> Taxes, finally! <laughs> uh, a large city needs to bring in additional revenue beyond its initial funding. One way to accomplish this is through taxation. In order to levy taxes, your city will need a palace and tax collectors. Make sure to build enough tax collectors to cover the whole city, especially its more well-to-do neighbourhoods. Remember that the better quality of life enjoyed in a given home, the more taxes occupants will pay. A magistrate patrolling from his courthouse helps reduce the risk of crime by hearing grievances and making sure that cooler heads prevail. Finally. Just he's about to spend all of his money. Oh, I'm going to go into debt. That's fine. Um, you can spend up to 5,000 Debmans worth of credit, but debt will, can lead to the downfall of your family. Yeah, and we'll, we'll lose the game. That's fine because we should start having some tax collectors. That helps reduce crime. Courthouse. Um, yeah, chuck that in here. I'm just going to spend a little bit because I was going to just le match up some bits.
This should hopefully start bringing us in some income. See what the coverage is like when it actually starts up. The tax rate of 9%. 15% covered. 41. You got to this mission last night and you failed it due to money problems. I've just got to it. Woo. Yeah, I love the isometric style. Like the original stronghold was like this as well. Mansion and personal salary. If you build a mansion for yourself, you can draw a personal salary from the city's treasury. Personal funds are retained by your family to be used whenever the situation demands, even in subsequent missions during the same period. Uh, beware though, as awarding yourself a higher salary that is due your position can have detrimental effects on your standing in the kingdom. Nice. I'm not going to worry about a salary just yet. It's a very aggressive sound, I think. Water crossings, yes, finally. Ferries can help your city run more smoothly. Carefully place water crossings, building, uh, being ferries or bridges. Uh, let the inhabitants of your city reach otherwise inaccessible parts of the landscape to find prey or other valuable resources. In some cases, they can improve the time timeliness of certain delivery people by shortening their journeys. Oh, we got... Oh, because we hit the apartments. Yeah. Oh, God, look at them. I love the 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 white, bright walls. It's very fancy. So we actually had 12. We only needed 10. We had 12 modest apartments in the end. We keep governing. We can kind of see it all. Because they've now got access to beer. Kind of weird that we just got... I guess we had, like, different... I don't know. Was it... I probably need to... I bet it was... I should have built the barley earlier and then I would have got all that stuff for tax coming through quicker. Hey, it's fine. I like that this tutorial actually is part of the main campaign as well. It's not like a separate thing you have to do first and then it goes into the story. You kind of just... You're constantly learning as you're playing. Right, on to the next mission then.